uh, why DraftKings? Uh, I, I think one part of it is that you are banking big on the possibility, the probability that New York will allow online betting. Oh, uh, absolutely, Tyler. Th thanks for having me as well. Um, so next week is New York's budget deadline. And we expect, just based on the fact that all three budget proposals that are on the table right now, the governors, the senates, and the assemblies, all have some form of legalized sports betting. So we think it's it's a sure thing that it happens. The question is, in what form will they legalize? We think that the Senate and Assembly versions of the bill uh, are, are the more likely scenarios to play out. And those are much more favorable for operators like DraftKings. In how many states now can I use my phone to place a bet? So for, for DraftKings, they're currently in 12 states. Um, and it comprises roughly a third of the U.S. population. Um, I think ultimately one would expect that it will be tremendously higher than that. So our market TAM estimate is substantially higher than other analysts on the street. Most analysts are, have a TAM number out there that's somewhere in the 20 to 25 billion dollar range. Our estimate is closer to 40 billion with upside to that. Uh, the fact of the matter is if you look at New Jersey and extrapolate the GGR per capita, so that's a gaming revenue per capita in the state of New Jersey, which is the most mature market, but still growing astronomically, um, just based on that, you can get to a 30 to $40 billion TAM. Um, uh, I think that that's what's being underestimated. And, and so increasingly, we're going to see more states roll out. Where does DraftKings, relative to its competition, uh, competition that you follow, where does it fit? Is it at the top of your list? Is it in the middle? How is it positioned vis-a-vis -vis the Penn Gamings, the FanDuels, the MGMs? Yeah, it's a great question. Uh, so in e just about every market that DraftKings is in, they're the top one or two player. Um, and it's been consistent pretty much since they launched initially in, in the first few states. Uh, what, what we're seeing is that, that that top segment of market share is being held by the top two or three players. And then from there, everybody else is competing for scraps. Um, and that's why we like DraftKings, because consistently in every market that they launch in, they, they have been the number one and two player. Uh, FanDuel, um, which is owned by uh, uh, UK traded uh, company Flutter, um, is, is the other top one and two player. Penn, on the other hand, which uh, owns a 36% stake in, in Barstool and has the Barstool Sportsbook app, is only in three markets right now, which to us is a bit concerning that because they have market access rights that should theoretically put right. them in more markets than, than DraftKings. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.